Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got OPI got Guys and Galaxies Beauty Big Bang Chameleon Stamping Polish. I'm going to be using the Nee Jolie Base Coat today. I will have a link for it down below. It comes in a four-pack with um, a base, a top, a two-in-one, and a matte top coat. Thought I'd give these a try. You can find them on Amazon. Like I said, I'll have a link down below. Base coat seems to dry pretty quick, which is always important for me because, you know, I want to get into the playing part. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Thank you very much. Good job. And now we're going to be going in with this Guys and Galaxies from OPI. It's like a oxblood color or a reddish brown. I don't really know how to describe it, but... It's very, very nice wine color, I guess. I don't know. But as you do the coats, they get built up and they get darker looking. I decided I would use this as my base for stamping today instead of using the typical black that we normally like to use when we're messing with multi-chromes or duochromes. But I wanted to try this Born, I mean, Born, this Beauty Big Bang chameleon stamping polish look how gorgeous this is oh you do want to be careful with this polish though you don't want to get it on your skin because it's a little bit of a mess to clean up but it's gliding on so nicely and it's just such a beautiful shade I've had this one in my collection until in how long and I've never worn it so yay got to break it out I am going to do a third coat. I know that's not typical of me, but there were just on a couple of nails, there were a couple of spots that were a little more uh, streaky looking. So I want to go ahead and go in with one more. I'll be using the Nee Jolie. It's the NJ003. This is the glossy top coat. Now it does dry pretty quick. It's their fast dry. Not as fast as Sesh Vite or um, Posh. But it does dry pretty quick, and it's very glossy. And I got a little carried away, so I'm going to have to do some cleaning up here. There we go. Oh, hi, Woody. How you doing? <laughs> About forgot. And I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush, too. Just because. Oh, sorry. So here's the Beauty Big Bang Stamping Polish. And there is the number for it. I will have a link for it down below. It's just so pretty. And this one's number is 003. And I'll be using the Beauty Big Bang XL003, also the stamping plate. I love this image right here. This is one of my favorite images of all time. It's like trees or roots or something. I don't know. I just love it. And I really love how this looks. It's gold, it's orange, it's green, it's gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> so I'm cleaning this plate with some pure acetone. I do use that lint roller to clean off my stamper. And I'm just going to, I'm going to put this image on most of my nails. I am going to do an accent nail or two. Well, just not just one more accent now. We're just going to do, because this is really one of my favorite images. So, but this polish stamps like a dream. I love it. And I'm glad I didn't do black. I'm glad I did it over another, just another dark color. Because I wanted to experiment and see how that would, you know, work and how it would look. And I'm really glad I did that. But I'm really in love with this manicure. I'm just going to let you all know now. So I decided to use these roses on my accent nail on my ring finger. On my ring finger nail. I catch myself doing that all the time. You guys know how crazy I am. There we go. This is just sleek looking. I'm going to top it with some Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Seal it all in, make it all glossy, make it dry so I can enjoy it. But I love, love it. It's just, mmm. I'm in love with it. It's 
It's one of those manicures I truly did love. I'm capping my free edge here. There we go. So here's a little bit of a, you know, live. So you can see it going gold, green, copper, orange, whatever. Mm. And here's my swatch photo. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this one. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.